So this episode is called Swear, a Tara and Heath centered episode. I think, you know, they might move around, but it's about Tara and Heath. And to be honest, I'm actually very excited to see them. I really like their characters. I just want to see what they've been up to and I'm, I'm excited to just get started. So there's not much I'm going to say before. Oh, and I just want to say thank you again. Every day there's a new subscriber. Thank you so much for subscribing. And um, thank you for just liking my channel. It's really cool. And just thank you again for the subscribers and the love and all of the support. I appreciate you guys so much. But yeah, let's get into this episode. I'm excited. By the way, I don't know if any of you watch Shameless, but I'm like catching up on it. I'm binge watching the show and I'm just, I love the show so much. I'm obsessed with the show. This has nothing to do with The Walking Dead, but this is just a plug for Shameless. Go watch the show if you don't watch that show. It's literally one of the best shows on television, in my opinion. I love it so much. Okay, let's watch. Sorry. Sorry, The Walking Dead. Let's watch. She's not a bobber. A bobber? Why do they always have the weirdest names? I still gotta do it. No, you don't. No. no. What kind of kid is you this? You don't have to do it. How did they get over? We're supposed to. I want to. I don't. So we won't. Psychopath. Someone else, you choose you. You take what you can. You take out who you have to, and you get to keep going. Heath is starting to sound like Dale. Nobody's so in this together. He's probably gonna okay. die. Not anymore. If I was gonna be on a, you know, in a zombie apocalypse, I'd like to be somewhere like that. Yeah. Another reason why. You'd like to be on a on the beach or somewhere like that during the apocalypse. It's women. what we've been seeing in those promos. Oh, there's the psycho. This is like perfect for Hi. Tara though. She loves women. <laughs> I just, uh, I didn't mean to. <laughs> Look, I'm cool. <laughs> I'm not here to hurt anyone. Ooh. What do we think? A lot of blind spots down there. Yep. It's heavy. Could be something good in there. I was... Oh. Oh. Tara. No. Hold on. No. Ah, there we go. It always... <laughs> something always has to happen. Ew. Why... Ugh. Why almost threw up the... Like, gag reflexes. Is this, how, is this how he dies? Because we don't see him <laughs> in the future or the present. We went out there in the middle of the night and we took them out. Every one of them. 
That girl's gonna sneak off probably and get killed. Oh yeah. See you later, Rachel. The psycho. <laughs> oh my god, that's awesome. Yeah, good job, Tara. I don't like that little kid. <laughs> walkers right now they're like not doing their job <laughs> oh no well, that's horrible to happen in the apocalypse but well, he left if I lost my glasses or my contacts I'd die I wouldn't I can't see anything I'm like blind Wait, she made it back? Wow. Oh no. Oh no, he was there. For both. This is the review part of my reaction. I'm gonna make it short because there's not a whole lot I have to say. This episode is probably the weakest episode so far. I'm going to assume 
in the future this will come into play either they're going to go there and get those guns and the ammunition from them or we're gonna see them again like Cindy and Beatrice and everybody they're just gonna help the group possibly because there's no reason for them to have just put these people in this episode <laughs> it just doesn't make sense for them to have just added this in so I'm going to go with the fact that this is a significant episode because it will come into play sometime in the future. It was weak, it was, I'm not sure if it was just the acting or whatever, but I mean this happens, I'm not gonna give excuses, <laughs> like giving excuses. I'm sure there's some of you who enjoyed this episode, which that's great, like I just didn't really enjoy it completely. I liked the concept, I liked this new community with only women. You know, it reminds me of kind of like Wonder Woman and where she comes from, which is really cool I, and the concept is great. But just stuff with Heath and Tara was kind of confusing and them being separated and the walkers not really great. I don't know, it was weird with the walkers, like how she fell. Like, they should have bit her at that point. I don't know, that wasn't, I didn't buy that. It wasn't really believable. It was cool to add in new people and just to, maybe they will come in in the future. Maybe everyone will fight and get together, not only the hilltop and the kingdom, but also this new community might join in because they probably want revenge because the savior screwed them as well. And I think it was smart that Tara said that there wasn't any guns because you, know, you don't want this bad karma to happen because that girl saved her life three to four times and then for her to say like, oh yeah yeah there was there was guns let's just go back right away it just wouldn't look good it, it's going they're gonna probably come back and help them and be like you kept your word you didn't say anything we will help you so i'm hoping that's what's going to happen and because it just would have been a dirty way <laughs> to just go, especially after they told her not to say anything. Anyways, I give this episode a six out of 10. It's probably the weakest episode so far, and I'd like to hear what you guys thought of it too. So I'm not bashing The Walking Dead or hating on it, I'm just giving my opinion, and I think it was a pretty weak episode. But hopefully next week will be better. The mid-season finale is coming up, so <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys.